Good morning, Phantoms. My name is Chris Cons, and today is March 29th. And my name is Richard Sepulveda. I want to welcome everyone to this episode of Good Morning Phantoms. Yes, good morning, everyone. Richard, do you know of any upcoming events? I know we have a very short week as Easter break is right around the corner. Yes, this Wednesday we start Easter break. Yes, indeed. More information on that later in the show. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, Phantoms. Phantoms, remember that Easter break will take place from Wednesday, March 31st through Sunday, April 11th. School offices will be closed during those dates. There will be more information on Easter later on in the show. After Easter break, school will begin for in-person instruction. If your parent chose for you to attend school, you will be broken into two cohorts, purple, which is track A, and white, which is track B. Students whose parents elected to remain 100% online are labeled track C, Attend classes via Zoom and follow the same schedule. For those returning after Easter break, please become familiar with the COVID handbook found in our new COVID-19 tab found on the Cathedral website. Now, here's Ben Hernandez with more information on our hybrid schedule. Hello, Phantoms. My name is Ben Hernandez. Here today with me, I have Mr. Weiss, the Dean of Students. Mr. Weiss, how are you? I'm doing quite well, Ben. Thank you. Great, great. Now, Mr. Weiss, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions regarding the new hybrid schedule. Um, first off, what are the safety precautions that will be in place for the, the students and faculty? Well, as you know, before deciding to reopen, uh, we had to take into account, right, the safety of, of both students and, and faculty. And then, you know, obviously we're limited by what LA County Public Health allows us to do. So we'll have our, you know, your obvious uh, masks required. Um, we'll do daily uh, health screening for both the students and the faculty. Um, we'll have uh, X number of hand sanitizers throughout campus. Um, obviously signs reminding students to keep their masks on, um, you know, keep their social, you know, distance. Uh, so everything that you've seen, you know, kind of out like in the market or, or what have you, we'll have all of that same, same uh, signage for you guys. What about uniforms? I know many students have either outgrown their previous uniforms or may need to buy new ones. What, what, what does that look like for us? So, so, you know, when we do come back, we're looking at about five to six weeks. Um, so right now, to be very honest, I am aware that, you know, 19 got some of us. Um, and so um, we're going to be very lenient in terms of the dress code. We are going to ask that you have a polo at a minimum. Um, and then either you can wear your uniform pants or any other type of pant as long as it's, you know, cleaned up, no holes, that type of deal. Um, I really do encourage uh, students to go to our COVID-19 tab off of our website. I created a COVID-19 handbook that actually has in detail things that are going to be structured that are going to be a little different, right, due to COVID from our usual school setting. Uh, so I definitely encourage students to, to check that out, become familiar with it, um, you know, and, and, and be willing to make the commitment to make sure that we keep each other safe by, you know, making sure we wear our masks at all times, obviously, except when we're eating and drinking and the such. Well, Mr. Weiss, I wanna thank you so much for taking the time to do this interview with me. Phantoms, if you do have any more questions, feel free to email Mr. Weiss at her email Absolutely. or check the school website. Check the COVID-19 tab, guys, um, and uh, we hope to see you here soon. Thank you. Phantoms, I'm Ben Hernandez. Back to you guys in the studio. Last week on March 24th, we had our annual walkathon. This year's walkathon was a little different than other years. This year's walkathon was a virtual one. Students were encouraged to walk around their neighborhood. A special thank you to Mr. Lopez and everyone who participated. Although we did not meet our goal, we raised a good amount of money. So a huge thank you to everyone. 
if you are interested in taking the placement test to be in AP English Literature and Composition class next year, please ask your current English teacher for details. This past Wednesday, March 25th, our soccer team won all three of the games at all levels, with Froshsoft winning 4-2, JV winning 8-0, and Varsity winning 5-1. Phantoms, this Wednesday, our soccer team faces against the Legion and hopes to stay undefeated. The game will be played here at Cathedral, and it starts at 6 p.m. On Saturday, the football team will be heading to, over to Mission Hills to play against Albany. The game will be at 7 p.m. Good luck, Phantoms. That's all the updates I have today. My name is Andrew Lopez. See you next episode. Hey there, Phantoms. It's Roland Pasquale. With Easter break coming up, we decided to ask a couple of students questions of what they think of Easter and about school opening back up to a hybrid schedule. With us today, we have Samuel Fujimaro and Gabriel Fonseca. First off, how are you guys feeling about Easter vacation coming up? I feel really good about uh, Easter vacation coming up. You know, I'm excited. I'm gonna turn 18. I'm gonna be able to drive soon, you know. And, um, and you know, I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. I'm feeling pretty excited because even though we are learning online, I do need a break from education to clear my mind. Also, because not only will I be able to sleep late, I won't have to worry about waking up on time in the mornings. Do you have any plans for Easter break? Um, yeah, I have a lot of plans. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm gonna be probably trying to drive. I'm probably gonna go out with my friends and like try to eat some like Korean barbecue. There's like a Korean barbecue place like right around the corner. I'm probably gonna go with them. You know, I'm probably gonna drive myself to school. Well, I'm not going to school, but I'll drive myself to volleyball practice and, uh, and all that stuff. So it'll be really fun, yeah. I'll probably be spending most of my time at home and attending volleyball practices. Volleyball has been really exciting this year, and I can't wait till we start games against other schools. Will you be coming back to school for the hybrid schedule, or will you stay at home? And if you do plan on coming back, are you excited to be coming back to school? I do want to go back to school for the hybrid schedule, because for me, learning in school is way easier than learning online. But I will be staying at home because my parents' decision was to keep me learning through Zoom because of the risks they don't want to take in case I do come into contact with COVID. I think myself throwing, like throwing myself back into school after being, you know, on the computer for a year would kind of mess things up, you know, like I, I wouldn't be used to it. I think it would have been okay if it was at the beginning of a semester. Um, but, you know, like still when our, our grades are all based off of like what we've done on the computer, it's hard to kind of go back to the way it was, you know? So I'm probably, I'm not, I'm gonna stay home for, for the rest of the year, but I'm super excited to go back, hopefully senior year. If that's an option, I'm definitely doing that. No question. But yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for your time. As many of you may know, Easter is often known as a time for huge bunnies, lots of candies, an opportunity to wear white or lots of colors, and of course, vacation. Easter is also known to be a very special celebration for Christians. This celebration was initially known as Pasqua, a name taken from the Jewish Passover festival. Easter is a celebration where Jesus Christ rose from the dead after his crucifixion on what we know as Good Friday. Easter day is and will always be the Sunday after the full moon, which happens on or after the 21st of March. If the full moon happens to be on a Sunday, Easter day is the Sunday after. Easter will always take place after the 40-day period in which Christians refer to as Lent. Lent is a time of fasting and sacrifice for Christians, in which we focus on significant indulgence. I bet many of you are wondering, how did Easter go from the holy celebration in Christian society to one about Easter eggs and Easter bunnies? Well, Back in the 13th century, Germans would honor the goddess of dawn, Eostre. She was honored during the spring equinox, which marked the first day of spring. People would honor Eostre and her companion, a hare. Their hare had the power to lay eggs once a year. 
this German festival would eventually be absorbed into Easter by Christianity due to the timing and the egg being a symbol of new life and fertility. Well, Phantoms, I hope you learned, if not reminded yourselves, what Easter is all about. New life, fertility, as well as celebrating Jesus' resurrection. Thank you, Phantoms, and have a great rest of your day. Back at you guys. Recently, LA City Councilman Mitchell Farrell said that the city will be shutting down Echo Park to repair more than $500,000 worth of property damage and waste. The park is known for its swan boats and for having many homeless encampments within it. Councilman O'Farrell said that the city will be following all CDC COVID-19 guidelines with repairing damages done to the park and its property. City council members hope to try and get the homeless people that reside in the park into housing programs or shelters. They prefer to not disperse the homeless that preside there, causing a higher spread of COVID-19. Drug Astrentia updated its data on how well its coronavirus vaccine works. The vaccine showed 76% effectiveness against symptomatic coronavirus disease and 100% effectiveness against severe or critical disease or the need for hospitalization. The vaccine was 85% effective in preventing symptoms in the volunteers 65 and older. Numbers are not terribly different from data the company released in their last statement. The company said its COVID-19 vaccine showed 99% effectiveness against symptomatic disease and 100% effectiveness against severe disease and hospitalization. That's it for today's show. I'm Chris Cons, And I'm Richard Sepulveda. Have a great rest of your week, fandoms.